talk of many debates, that is the NLTP Act, which was also taken up at the Nagaland Legislative Assembly yesterday, that is August 27, has taken the state by storm. And um, now the government is revisiting the Act of 1989, the NLTP Act. Um, today at the State Banquet Hall, the Minister of Power, KJ Kenye, spoke to uh, reporters and the media and gave a briefing about the NLTP Act. He mentioned that, yes, this approach again has to change and that the temper should not fly off everybody. And this is not a religious issue, but a social menace and issue. Let's have a look. We should be patient. We cannot we cannot expect problems to be solved so quickly. And these are issues which have taken decades altogether. So while trying to resolve it, we should have also exercised the same amount of patience that we have waited for all these years. Like the, our reactions, and attitude towards the process of tackling, resolving our problems. Recently, you have seen how the NLTP Act has kicked up the storm, which was really, very unnecessary. I must say, I've been saying that uh, there has been overreactions from different sections of our society which was very unexpected. Our obsession with this word called debt, I think we have to be cautious about this. Newspapers were screaming about the proposition that the government rightly has to make. If a law is not satisfactorily being effective, then uh, it is for the government to reconsider by way of evaluating how effective or how efficient a law is uh, performing. Thus, it has the desired effects that uh, the government has made, enacted three and a half decades back. How, how is it faring now, after all these years? If it is not the government's job, then whose job? But when the government tries to take a real look by visiting an old law, which uh, at least three of us in this house were present and voting for that particular bill in 1989, on the 26th of November, our Chief Minister, our Deputy Chief Minister, Tia Zelan, and myself. We have voted for this NLTP Act. And our commitment to this Act, this law, has stood, not wavering in the last 34, 35 years. We understand the values that, were, that are attached to this Prohibition Act. It has not changed. Neither the reasons and dynamics surrounding this NLTP Act or our commitment and opinion towards this Act have changed. It is not that. But uh, the way it's happening, it is not giving us the desired effect and efficiency to prohibit the sales of liquor in our state. So the government has picked this up and, uh, you know, to elicit the opinion of the public, the general mass, and to start with that, we set the ball rolling for discussion by way of introducing this as a matter of urgent public importance in the assembly this time. So this is only for discussion and deliberation. But, uh, and we're not going to arrive at the decision of resolution. The rules under which this is being introduced itself speaks volumes. But the government's intentions were misconstrued by the people, and many sections, many quarters have reacted too sharp 
which was unbecoming. We look to very respectable institutions for personal guidance also in many points, at many points in our own personal life, when we are at a loss. The government also takes them into confidence for their guide, for their advice, you know. But uh, this time around, I think uh, many have overreacted to this issue. And uh, what we intend to say, making it very simple, putting it in a very plain word, whether regulated will be better, more effective, or leaving it unregulated like this for 34, 35 years serves its purpose. Which one is more efficient? That is what we mean. And not that after 34, 5 years, it has matured, things have changed, so prohibition should be lifted because it is good. That is not our attitude when we are reconsidering this act again. So the discussion has started. We will be discussing further, having a lot of consultations with a cross-section of people, and we hope that we will arrive at a decision which will be in the interest of our people in the long run. So we are not averse to any kind of suggestions from any quarter of the society. That is what we want to tell our people again. To take things easy, not to let tempers fly and react like this in a rash manner. If I remember correctly, I said we might, after taking into the majority views, we might go for a partial lifting. Now, that is in the capacity of a state government. If a government finds that all is not well in that aspect, it is, the go it is for the government to reconsider that particular issue. And uh, while we consider an issue or reconsider it, it is only natural and expected of any government to make propositions. So by way of proposition, the government had suggested that we might, I don't think I said we will, after taking in the majority's view. So how do you know? the majority's view if you don't bring it to the public domain and starting with the assembly where all 60 are representatives from every corner of this state. So in that forum, we have introduced it for a healthy debate and a healthy discussion. You're citing Azumenu's uh, statement in the House yesterday about taking new turns. We have differences in our approach towards any, any, any issue. Now, how would you like a government which keeps on avoiding issues, contentious issues that are facing the people, the public, and yet choosing to avoid it, not willing to encounter it, risking controversies, whatever, from the people, but performing their responsibility their job, you know, and try to solve it once and for all. Now, if, such, if, if the people want a government who runs away from their responsibility and always try, you know, to have a peaceful atmosphere so that their tenure will be smooth, that the government will not run into controversies, or you want to have a proactive government who encounters all these uh, issues confronting the state and the people and trying to bring about a solution. Hmm? solution. So that is where we are. We leave it to the people to judge. But uh, I think uh, the government intends to take in the opinion of everybody. And our appeal first is that this should not be taken as a religious issue. It is one of the oldest social, you know, human problems, human habits, I would say. 
This is a social menace, menace all over the world, leaders, governments, and uh, the churches, religious leaders have been trying to, uh, you know, trying to resolve these issues. So I think uh, this is not a religious issue. This is a social issue dealing with human habits only. Uh, we will try to tackle these issues jointly, make a collective effort here.